Hey there, what's going on? If you're wondering about fitness post five day fast, then this video is for you. We're gonna be talking about my running experience after a five day fast. So if you watched the previous video, I ran on day, I did a run on day four and I could only cover one mile before my entire body was just not doing too well. And I'm not like an elite at runner or anything. Uh, today, after my first, after my five day fast, so I did a five day full water fast, water and tea only, not a single extra calorie from like from anything, right? So just water and tea. Maybe the tea had like less than one calorie. I don't know, but basically just water and tea for a full five days. And um, you know, day four was a struggle to run. I, I got to the gym as well, but day five, right here, I was able to knock out 2.6 miles. This is on my Garmin uh, Fenix 5X watch. So it's a tracking device. 2.6 miles with a time of 25, 25.45. So that's about 10 minutes per mile. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about the tracker watches. But overall, real quick, before we get into that, I mean, it's absolutely amazing because it tells me that I'm out of shape. Now, I get some people don't want people to tell them they're out of shape. But if you're self-motivated and you're able to, you know, get yourself, uh, you know, if you can be self-guided and self-motivated in terms of fitness which at some point we all have to be if we want to you know live more healthy lifestyles or be more fit you know we have to be have that self-motivation it's good to know where we're at where we want to go and as uh, tony robbins likes to say or i think one of his mentors said i can't remember maybe jim Rohn said it uh that which you can measure you can manage so if you can measure your fitness then you can manage it as well and with that said, that goes beyond just weight because weight is one thing, but you know what you need to do to lose it, what you need to do to gain it, if you want to gain it, it's a whole different question. But with that said, or maybe they're basically the same question, they just have different answers and you have to approach it differently. But with that said, um, you know, five day fast, I had I covered about one thousand something around like twelve hundred, twelve hundred calories. I'm guessing about twelve hundred calories today, uh, maybe less probably less, like 1,000 to 1,200 calories today, uh, early this morning and around lunchtime. And this is evening at about 10 p.m. that I did this, did this run. And I felt okay. I felt much better than I did on day four with absolutely zero fuel for four days straight. And on the four day, fourth day, I ran. So that was quite interesting to be able to hit 2.6 miles today. And I wonder if I probably would have really struggled if I tried to go five. Like sometimes I can go five and it's a challenge, but it's not like a struggle. So uh, with that said, I would just, I'm pretty happy with the results of at least just being able to measure and see where my uh, body is. Now, hopefully, you know, I can definitely increase that over these next few days, especially recovering from this fast. And, you know, I'm going to try not to pig out too much or eat too much eat too much as I recover from this fast because I know you have to eat a certain way otherwise your body starts to feel not good and I will admit after I ran just now I did feel like I had to puke a little bit which isn't usual for a, a, a 10 minute mile for me 10 minute 10 minute per mile 2.5 mile run but I felt it and I'm pretty sure it had to do with just my body recovering from the past five days I mean that's a pretty big shock to the system but overall uh, one thing I love about trackers like these is right here, let's see, uh, right here, you can see that it says 70, at one point, my heart rate hit about 176 beats per minute, which is pretty high for, for someone in their thirties. Uh, I think it's like you add 60 or something to your age at, or add like 120 to your age or 150 or something. You add some number to your age. And that's like your your like highest heart rate you should go, or something like that. And then there's a range of everything in between. So I think the the a high heart rate for somebody in their 30s is something like 182 or 180 beats per minute, which means hitting 170 something, 177. I got right up there. And for a 10 minute mile, for my heart to be beating that fast means that you know i am definitely struggling considering you know there's probably elite athletes or maybe not even elite athletes but just average runners who whose heart rates probably don't get up even 
above 160 and they're able to hit 10 minutes a mile. Like that's their jogging time, right? So just to have baselines like these, I think it's absolutely amazing that I that to, to be able to have this technology and to be able to track what your heart rate is and ultimately know where your health is at because heart rate can tell you like how hard you need to work to be able to accomplish something. And the less you need to work to accomplish a, a physical feat, the ultimately that's a, the measure of you know how in shape you are. If you have to struggle to pick up 20 pounds, then you're much weaker than someone who doesn't need to struggle to pick up 20 pounds. If you're struggling to run a mile, you're 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 doing worse off than somebody that can run a that whose mile is like you know eating breakfast or just like putting a spoon in their mouth to to feed themselves something. So. Just with all that consideration, I mean, I think this is absolutely amazing technology, and I love the idea that I can use this right after I fasted to be able to, to test my fitness. So as you can see, it's 1050, uh, 1050, 2250. Um, but with that said, checking overall heart rate and everything, uh, it's there we go. Checking overall heart rate and everything, it's it's very good and uploads to your phone and tracks by the date and everything. Um, the Fenix, the Garmin's been super reliable and it has a great app, Garmin Connect, and it's got great partnerships with other running apps as well. So big fan of this. And overall, if you're deciding on a five day fast, of course, you know, I shared my results in this video, but with anything that has to do with your health, your fitness, your wellness, of course, always speak with a certified physician, a, a professional, um, you know, a professional dietitian, nutritionist, health expert, or wellness expert that knows your specific situation. Because who knows what can happen? Maybe you're allergic to not eating. <laughs> you know, it could be it could be anything, right? So um, with that said, uh, be sure to, you know, check out previous videos if you're more interested in some of the other ideas that I've discussed during the five day fast. But now as I feel like I'm building back my energy as I eat, I can definitely see a, a better future over the next few days. And hopefully, you know, the hardest part for me isn't going to be getting back into the gym or whatever, working out. It's going to be uh, working to main, try to keep a healthy diet. Uh, well, part of the reasons why I did fast was just simply just to reset my taste buds to crave for something healthy. And I had to crave a lot of healthy things. But as soon as I was able to get out and start seeing uh, really tasty looking foods, I kind of jumped in and started putting a lot of protein in my mouth, uh, like, you know, chicken, spam, eggs, and all that. So with that, um, beef, had a, had a torta milanesa this afternoon. So with that said, a lot of, uh, a, a lot of things that I still have to work on in terms of my personal uh, fitness, but hopefully the fast was able to, you know, awaken something. For me and maybe it'll do for you too and of course uh, check out some trackers if you're looking for for some fitness you don't even need advice with trackers because if you can get an idea of where your baseline is what your typical heart rate is if you go get a heart rate monitor then it tells you like your pace and your steps and your how high you're stepping your feet and everything and if you could get a baseline for that type of fitness then you can really start to just see your improvements and you don't have to write it down like back in the day you would have to write these things down but now this is tracked for you every single day where you just have to look at an app and see if you're improving. It's absolutely amazing, especially if you're going to get into some sort of fitness situation um, or you want to improve your, your overall fitness in some way. So with that, uh, tools like these, I think are totally worth it. And with that, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.